हेलो एवरीवन आई हार्टली वेलकम यू आई गौरंग चापानेरी फाउंडर ऑफ मैकेनिकल गुरु 2020 यूट्यूब चैनल इन टुडे वीडियो वी डिस्कस स्पेशल केस ऑफ ग्राफिकल मेथड इन दैट टुडे वी डिस्कस इन फिजिबल सॉल्यूशन इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट प्रेस द लाइक बटन एंड आल्सो press the bell icon to get new notification first we understand infeasible solution when it is not possible to get solution of lpp problem for a given constraint that condition is called infeasibility and such kind of solution is called the infeasible solution means in infeasible solution we cannot get the optimal solution okay let's see the example use graphical method to solve the following lpp maximize z is equal to 20x1 plus 30x2 and the constraint cross 2x1 plus x2 Less than or equal to forty. Second constraint: four x one minus x two less than or equal to twenty. And third constraint: x one greater than or equal to twenty five. And non-negative condition: x one x two greater than or equal to zero. So now we solve the solution. First, we have to consider. The first inequality, that is first constraint, two x one plus x two less than or equal to forty. Treat this equality as a quant equation, that is two x one plus x two is equal to forty. Now plot this equality considering a line. This is the easiest way to plot this line. It took. Is to consider one of the coordinate as a zero. Alternatively, and find out the interaction point with the axis. So now, first find out the coordinate. Two x one plus x two is equal to fourteen. In that, put x one is equal to zero. So we can easily find out the value of x two. So the value of x two is forty. So the coordinate are zero and forty. In same equation, put x two is equal to zero. So here we can easily find out value of x one twenty. So the coordinate are twenty and zero. Now this point we have to plot into the graph. So here represent x one as a x axis and X two as a y axis. Since x one x two are non-negative, and consider only first quarter. So first we have to put the point. So here the first coordinate zero and forty. So x one zero and x two forty. So x two is forty approximately here. In second twenty zero. So here. So first we have to put the point. Okay. Now we have to draw the straight line passing from these two point. So here the sign is less than or equal to. Yes, it is represent the towards the origin. Now let's see equation two. Four x one minus x two is equal to twenty. In the same, x one is equal to zero, so we get the value of x two is equal to minus twenty. In the same, x two is equal to zero, so we get the value of x one. So the value of x one is equal to five. So the coordinate are five and zero. In the same, this coordinate we have to plot into the graph. So first we have to put the point. So the first point zero and minus twenty. This x one zero and x two minus twenty. So here, 
and second coordinate 5 0 so here so first we put the point again we have to draw the straight line passing from these two coordinates here again the sign is less than or equal to okay so less than equal to means is towards the origin origin is here so it's represent towards the origin now from the first two coordinate here we can easily find out the feasible region should be in this area okay let's see third equation x1 is equal to 25 okay so here only the value of x1 so consider x2 is equal to 0 so the coordinate are 25 and 0 means 25 here so first we have to put the point now we have to draw the straight line here the sign is greater than or equal So it's represent away from the origin. Here we find out two feasible region. First here and second is here. Let's see. So as per the extreme corner point measure, first we have to find out the coordinate. Okay, so this is A point, B point, C point, and D point. Okay, so here there are two feasible regions. This is also feasible region and this area is also feasible region. Here we can easily find out the feasible region corresponding to the first two constraints is bounded by the convex A, B, C and D. Why the feasible region is respect of the third constraint? is also known as a sided separate units in this area. So here we can easily observe that there is a no common point in the area sided. So here all the constraint cannot satisfy means we cannot find out the optimal solution. So these types of solution is called the invisible solution. Okay, so here the all constraint cannot be satisfied and as such there is a no feasible region. So these types of solution is called the infeasible solution. Let's see other example. Same minimize z is equal to 3x1 plus 4x2 subject to minus x1 plus x2 greater than equal to 1. Second constraint x1 minus x2 less than equal to 1 and non-negative condition x1 x2 greater than equal to 0. So it's same is an invisible solution you can easily solve it. Okay. In second example minimize z is equal to 3x1 plus 4x2 subject to 4x1 plus 10x2 less than equal to 40 and second constraint 4x1 plus 10x2 greater than equal to 40 and non-negative condition x1 x2 greater than equal to 0. This is also a simplest example you can easily solve it. Once again thank you. For any query or suggestion you can contact me. This is my mobile number 9574683116 and you can direct mail me mechanicalguru2020 at gmail.com. Okay, thank you everyone.